guys, this is Madhavi from first BSc Biotechnology and I am from Mahindra's. Before coming to your topic, I want to say a beautiful thing to you. Health is a soul that animates all enjoyments of our life, which fades and earth is less without it. So take care of your health. Before that, I want to say a short story to you. One of my friends was Janu. Janu was my intermediate friend. We used to play together, we used to sit together, we used to dance together. But after a few days, she didn't come to me. So I went to their home to watch, to watch Janu. And Janu was surprised to see that she was crying very well. But I do not know that. So her mother said that Janu was sick. And she was suffering from disease like the flu. So, she wasn't conscious of the changes happening in her body. She was unable to bear the difference between the flu and the cold. So, this made her in a bed ridden and now under in a keen medical condition. So, I hope she will get well soon. And also, I will tell you the difference between the flu and its measure. So, today our topic is infection control. How to minimize the risk of infection during flu season? And today my objectives were the infection, stages of infection, and the flu, types of flu, and it control measures like preventive measures, quarantine measures, and also the disease control measures, and lastly healthy habits. So these things today we are going to discuss, right? So mainly the disease is caused due to infection. But what is infection? Yes, an infection is a process in which the bacteria or the microorganism which enters into your body and makes a person ill or disease is called infection, right? And there were two types of infection. They are primary infection and secondary infection. So in primary infection, it's an initial infection in which the organism into host is called primary infection and the secondary infection it means one in a host whose resistance is lowered by the pre-existing infection a new organism can set up into a new infection so these are the two types of infection right and next what is flu actually yes a flu is a respiratory disease which is caused by the virus the flu is very very similar to common cold but the flu is somewhat dangerous or serious than is common cold. The flu is also known as influenza. We are saying flu, flu, flu. But how does the flu spread? Yes, the flu spreads through the air. It means it's airborne respiratory disease, right? And health is not wild till sickness comes to us. So, that what are the symptoms that a flu person may have? Yes, they are headache, weakness, fever, cough, muzzle ache, chest discomfort, sore throat and these were the symptoms for the flu. And many of the people might think that the flu and common cold were very similar. But it's not true. There is some difference between the flu and the common cold. So now I have a beautiful compared to uh, description or uh, between the flu and the cold. So the symptoms it develop quickly in the flu and gradually in the cold and fever 38 to 41 degrees celsius in flu and they are rare and headache severe uncommon or common and aches and pains usual often severe uncommon or mild and fatigue and weakness can last for two to three weeks and here mild can last for two to three days and the extreme exhaustion here common or initially and that never stuffy nose, sneezing and the sore throat here sometimes in case of flu and they're usual for cold and the chest pain it's common and severe and for the cold and the for the cold it's sometimes and the duration for the flu is one to two weeks and the duration for the cold is five to seven days and there is some complication for the flu like the pneumonia or bronchitis and for the cold also there is some differences like sinusitis, ear infection, laryngitis and bronchitis. So now we have understood the difference between the flu and the common cold, right? And it, let's move on to the next. There are different types of flu like the influenza A, influenza B, influenza C and influenza D. 
so the influenza a it causes mild illnesses influenza b it causes flu pandemics and influenza c it causes mild illnesses but the influenza d it causes disease only in cattle but it do not infect the people and next the seasonal flu the seasonal flu means it occurs in the month of october november and december and the flu pandemics it means it attacks throughout the world and this swine flu bird flu these things we will discuss in the next slide so the first thing is bird flu but bird flu means it is also called as avian influenza avian means but influenza means flu so we call it say bird influenza or avian influenza right so this bird flu is also known as H5N1 virus because five strains of hemagglutinin protein and one strain of neuronidase protein together we call as H5N1 virus. This bird flu can also infect the humans if the humans are very close contact with the infected birds or their body feces like that. And mostly because of this bird flu, nearly 40 million people will die. And in our India, mostly 4 or 7 people were died because of this bird flu. And next, move on to the next, this swine flu. So, this swine flu is a, is a disease of pigs because it starts in pigs. And swine flu is a respiratory disease which is caused by the virus. This swine flu is mainly caused by the influenza A virus. In our India, at Hyderabad, in the year of 2019, in the year of 2009, mainly 981 people were died and in 2010, nearly 1783 people were died. Our India has witnessed that it's one of the worst outbreak of this swine flu in the world. In the year 2017 to 2014, it means nearly 70,50,000 people were died because of this swine flu. So how dangerous this swine flu is, right? So now let's talk about the recently witnessed disease. Yes, it's coronavirus. The exact name of coronavirus is COVID-19. It means coronavirus disease in 2019. This coronavirus is first emerged at Wuhan in China on December 31st, 2019. This coronavirus is a large group of the viruses which can cause diseases like common cold and sometimes may cause the severe diseases also like the MERS, Middle East Respiratory Syndrome and SIRS, Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. So like this it causes many differences or many diseases like that. And there are four human coronaviruses like that 229E, HKU1 and 163. OC43. So these type of four human coronaviruses which can cause upper respiratory tract infections like the common cold and sometimes it may also cause a lower respiratory tract infections like the pneumonia or bronchitis. This coronavirus or zoonotic it means it is transmitted between the animals and the people. So there are several other coronaviruses which is still circulating in animals but they are not yet identified in humans, right? Because of this coronavirus, nearly 40,000 people were died or infected and 20,000 people were died because of this coronavirus. And it still, it is spread to many other countries also. 70,000 people were infected. Among them, 1,000 people were other countries and 74,000 people were from China. So how dangerous a coronavirus is? So let's talk about the infection control but we are saying infection control infection control but what is infection control yes infection control is a sub discipline of epidemiology it means epidemiology means it's a study and analysis of distribution patterns it means who when and where so for this we'll discuss later and in next picture, we can observe that several other viruses which can cause many diseases like that. And next, the infection cycle. So, there are infectious agents like bacteria, virus, or the fungus, parasites, and protozoans. And the reservoirs for those infectious agents were people 
organisms or the people like that equipment and they exist as excretion secretion and they enter through the contact or droplet like that and from that they enter into the gastrointestinal tract or to the respiratory tract like that and they cause the respiratory infections or the disease immunized like the diseases so this is the type of infection cycle so we have understood the infection cycle right now so till now we have discussed the infection types of infection flu and different types of flu infection control and infection cycle so let's next discuss the uh, hand wash tips it means more than any other types of hands any other parts of your body our hands come in contact with the environment or with the surroundings it means our hands interact with the pathways into your our body so our hands plays a vital role in that and when you're touching your surfaces or your surroundings also the tiny germs will enter into your hand and from that to the openings into your our mouth or to your nose or from your ears these germs will enter into your body and cause a disease so we should do we should avoid that so uh, to avoid that we should wash your hands regularly so there are nine steps to why you should wash your hands so there were we should use soap and uh, we should rub from palm to palm and the back of your hands and the fingers interlock like base of the thumb and the finger nails onto the wrist and the rings hands then dry so these are the nine tips in which you can follow while you are washing your hands right and let's move on to the next healthy diet to avoid sickness so there are many healthy diets we can say we should take vegetables fruits or the uh, cut ginger tea fruit salad like this because they contain the proteins uh, proteins which plays an important role in building blocks of body so we should it, it contains the proteins carbohydrates fats vitamins like that so which are very very good for our health so we should take these and also we should take the uh, meat also but we should not take the raw meat or we should not take the undercooked meat because it's a dirty one and we should take the cooked meat only so let's move on to the next the flu shot flu shot is not 100% effective it is simple, simplest and other experimental method this flu shot is a vaccine all of us saying that vaccine 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 but what exactly is a vaccine yes a vaccine is a biological preparation that provides an active acquired immunity to a particular disease this vaccine which involves a agent that uh, resembles a disease causing microorganisms this vaccine which is often prepared from weaken or kill forms of the microbe this flu shot it is of many types like we should take the intermuscular injection or to your nose or to your nasal spray like that and the high dose vaccine which is given for the people who are greater than 65 years and the nasal spray which is given for the children who are less than 2 years and adults who are more than 50 years because this vaccine is not recommended to the pregnant people or the children who are less than 2 years or the adults who are greater than 50 years because their immune system is very weak so we should not give the vaccine for that people right so this vaccine can also have the some side effects like that headache fever muscle ache palm and swelling nauseaness like that so these are the side effects for the flu shot so we have known about the vaccine right this vaccine is the best way to protect ourselves and our family from infection or a disease right so vaccine is the best way to protect ourselves and next move on to the next the quarantine measures quarantine is used to separate the movement of well persons who have been exposed to communicable diseases to see if they have become well or ill this quarantine it means they get the quarantine people get separated and they keep those people at one room they do test for the people if the result is negative for the people then they leave if the result is positive for the people then they give the treatment for the people to protect that people or to not spread these type of viruses to the other people this quarantine measures is prepared or introduced and the government of china has introduced the travel restriction to isolate 10 cities affecting over 5 million people our government our indian government has took that we should not travel to china because there is covid 
and also our government said that the people who visited to china since jan 15 2019 were not valid temporarily they should put in a quarantine i the people who visited to china also they should put in a quarantine our government our indian government said that it's temporarily suspended the e visa facility for chinese people and also the people who already issued the e visa facility were not valid temporarily so these are the quarantine measures we have to remember and also because of the covid 19 nearly 80% country gdp and 90% exports were shut down over this coronavirus so how dangerous a virus is or right and next more to the last when you take your child to the hospital with the flu it means the infants who have the fever greater than 100 degrees celsius and uh, when you are crying no tears are coming and the fever with diapers then usual so if the infants have this condition then you should go to the hospital and in case of young people bluish color skin color or difficulty breathing stuffy nose or stiff neck severe headache severe irritability difficulty in walking or interacting lack of thirst or appetite if you have the these things then you go to the hospital right this should these things you have to follow and this is control methods these are very very important so we should take the personal control measures like we should avoid contact with sick people we should really avoid contact with any other people and we should stay at least 2 feet away from infected people and wash your hands regularly with soap or you should use hand sanitizer in that case you should wear gloves and you should wear mask like that and drink plenty of water also these are the disease control measures you have to follow and also there are several other types of disease control measures like the source control it means ill healthcare workers do not work for those who are susceptible for coronavirus and also the engineering step it means putting partitions for triage areas it means contaminated air is not recirculated and we should keep our surroundings clean and also we should take some of the precautions while uh, for the suspected diseases or like that and the administrative steps it means it means we have to take some of the steps like we should uh, isolate the infected people as quickly as possible and also we should take the personal control measures like the avoid contact with people like that and we should take the flu medications and we should take oxygen therapy also it means maintain enough oxygen while inhaling anesthetics are given and we should also take the intravenous fluids through the injection and there are several other control diseases also and also many other organizations are still said that they are still developing the vaccines but it need to be tested and the university of hong kong has introduced that a new vaccine is developed but it needs to be tested so these are the different different types of disease control me- measures you have to follow right and next more to the next home remedies yes these are very very important like the tulsi kapur leaf pepper ginger lemon honey these are very important like that home remedies for common cold because the ginger it's a antiviral uh, antiviral means it is a antioxidant or anti inflammatory one so which uh, release from our cold or like that and the honey it's a good for our health it's release from cough so we should take this type of home remedies like that and the pepper is also very important when you get the cold you should take the pepper so these are some of the home remedies you have to follow and there are also the several other types of home remedies like the homeopathy homeopathy is also one type of home remedies you have to take because they are good for health so to avoid infection or to avoid the minimizing of diseases to be healthy we should follow all these home remedies right and next healthy tips it means get enough sleep do physical exercise reduce stress stay hydrated these are very important for staying good healthy life and also namaste over handshake it means while you are shaking your hands nearly 124 million bacteria enters from one hand to another hand and also while you are touching your hands nearly 55 million bacteria enters from one hand to another hand while you are bumping your hands nearly 7 million bacteria enters from one hand to another hand so in all these cases 
do not transfer gems when you are greeting your friends to avoid gems from entering your uh, entering into your hand you should say namaste so these are the healthy tips we have to follow and i can say one thing that your body is your temple so keep it pure and clean for the soul to reside in right so today we have learned that infection stages of infection and the types of infection and also the flu different types of the flu in that we have discussed the swine flu bird flu and the coronavirus is like that and we have discussed the symptoms of the flu and we also discussed the um, different types of the viruses like that and also we have uh, took the control measures like preventive control measures in that we have deeply discussed about the vaccines and also we have discussed about the quarantine measures in quarantine measures we have said about the china government and the indian government like that what the rules they have taken and also we have said about the disease control measures which are very very important for us so these things we have taken right and also lastly we have said about healthy tips which is very very essential for our body which is very very important to your healthy life so these things we have learned today right so now i want to give a an assignment to you so prepare a list of infected countries or uninfected countries or uh, those who are affected and what are the reasons for that what measures they are taking so write an assignment on this so your body is your uh, your body is a temple so keep it pure and also i can say that a fit body a calm mind a full houses full of love is not a uh, this thing this these things cannot be bought so they should be and right and also the virus is like a love it can happen to anybody at any time so you should be careful with the virus so lastly i thankful for our secretary rs pravin kumar sir for providing many many opportunities to us and also especially especially thankful for the uh, principal nirupama madam garu for encouraging me and for supporting me and um, i especially thankful for her mentor vijayalakshmi madam for encouraging me for guiding me and uh, now i'm mostly thankful for my parents because they given life to us life to me so especially especially thankful for my parents also so not less not less not le, not last but least not least that and also thankful for our our friends for cooperating me for encouraging me and for supporting me so thank you